Yo! Kumusta? Mani kayang pagbabalik sa akin channel. It is time to create volume 19 of Filipinos that went viral on social media. Whether it be on TikTok or Facebook or YouTube, it doesn't matter. We react to them all. Today, I have selected three videos. One by Katrina Velarde. That one is on TikTok. One by Raven Harris, who sings, I think, Amaka Bugera. I believe that one also is on TikTok. And to be honest with you guys, Catherine Velarde, everybody knows who she is, right? And everybody knows that she is extraordinary. But Raven Harris, who used to be a contestant on Tawag ng Tanghalan, and in my humble opinion, is very underrated. Yes. Um, and the last one is from a student who will be performing Dito Kalang. There you go. I think we're gonna start with the student, then we'll move on to Raven, and then we'll finish with Katrina. Yes, sir. But before we start, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Music Game News because that is where you can DM me your suggestions and, you know, videos of Filipinos that went viral on uh, social media. There you go. Let's do this. Cactus mom no propaganda and Moses. Ah, there you go. This video also was originally uploaded on TikTok. So technically, all three videos are from TikTok. Very nice. Keep in mind that this girl is singing with a mask on, okay? That's why it sounds a little bit muffled. But clearly, she has absolutely zero problems belting with a mask on. Filipinos, man. I really like this song. I gotta check, when was this uploaded? Two months ago. Two months ago? Come on. Are the are, are Filipinos still wearing masks um in uh, indoors? Like in classrooms and everything? Seriously? Ouch, 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 ouch. Yeah, that was off. That part was off, unfortunately. Just that tiny part. And clearly it's because she was bothered by the mask. You know, she was like trying to put it back in place. There, yeah, oh, ouch, ouch. It's crazy how I have grown to love OPM music. If you had told me a few years back that I would not only uh, be familiar with OPM music, but also learn to love like Filipino music and Filipino rap, I would have told you, you're crazy, man. But it's the case, man. You guys have some beautiful, original Filipino music, and this song is part of it. Um, also, 
As you know, I'm a very honest guy and I'm never afraid to tell you when someone is not singing properly or when someone is off pitch or out of tune, you know. But this past year, the videos that you guys have been sending me have been wonderful. Meaning that when I react to them, I rarely find an issue with them. So it's either the um, level of singing in the Philippines has increased and become even better, or the uh, awareness of my community has become better. You know, awareness of you know, uh, amazing vocalists has become better, meaning that you keep sending me content that is perfect, you know, that I am not able to find uh, flaws with, you know what I'm saying? So here, when she uh, went uh, out of tune, that's when I thought about it. I was like, wow, it's been a while since I have noticed something like this, you know? Whoa, it's so abrupt, man, the way it ends. So abrupt. Okay, let's move on to Jerez. Raven Jerez. Oh! Did Raven just start singing with a karaoke machine in the middle of a uh, sports game? Is this basketball? or handball or volleyball seriously is this how much filipinos love singing in the middle of a, of a game they start singing what the hell i don't recognize this version Obviously, I recognize the song, I'm, I recognize the way it's being sung, but I don't recognize the instrumental. It's not the original instrumental uh, used by Mai Mai Entrata, who is the original singer uh, of this song. Oh, yeah! It sounds like a chill version of this song because the original is upbeat and makes you want to dance. So far, we haven't even heard percussions. It's been just the piano. It's volleyball. This is why I keep telling you that Hey Raven Harris is underrated. Did you hear that? Oh my god, that was gorgeous. That was beautiful. <sighs> so yeah, handball. Uh, sorry, volleyball. They've been playing volleyball. Raven Harris is singing uh, in the middle of a volleyball uh, court. It's crazy. Hey, attitude. Okay, we, they have introduced the percussions. Okay, it's technically a basketball court, but they put the volleyball um, equipment uh, in the middle.
Wow, wow, that gave me chills. The way um, Raven took it a step higher gave me chills. attitude and everything cap cut that's a good um uh, video editing software by the way that was incredible that was incredible uh, raven harris is so talented and underrated in my opinion like i know people have noticed raven on tawag ng tanghalan right but i feel like the hype just wasn't big enough in my opinion, in my opinion, because of how talented Raven is, you know, the the agility, the vocal agility, the power, the... <sighs> Man, all right, let's move on to Katrina Velarde. Okay, so it's basically Katrina Velarde having fun. And yes, Katrina Velarde is one of those amazing vocalists who also uh, includes humor uh, in her acts. And I really appreciate that. I wonder which song she's singing though. Oh, it's raining. She is insane. Man. Wow. Okay, 10 seconds. She held it for 10 seconds while belting and uh, she added a bunch of runs in it. That's how flexible she is. She's insane. She's insane. There you go. There you go. I hope that you enjoyed this volume 19. And if you have more, send them my way. Of course, uh, I will try to include them in volume 20, in the next uh, volume, of course. And of course, let me know in the comment section below uh, which one of these clips you preferred? I preferred Ravens because it was just incredible. Seriously, Amaka Bogera again is a very difficult song to sing, and uh, it seemed like Raven, um, it, it seemed like it was an easy song to sing for Raven. Maraming maraming salamat po. And if you found value in this video, then do not hesitate to check out my other volumes and reaction videos right here.